Hi and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today we are working on some Pottery Barn inspired decor using thrifted items. These are the items that I picked up from my local Goodwill. I only spent $9 and that's just because I rounded up for some donations that they asked for. For the first piece, these are what I am going to be trying to duplicate. So these are the glasses that I chose. You can choose any shape, obviously. That's what's awesome about doing dupes because you can change it up a little bit for you know what you find at your local thrift store or what you like better. And I'm just taking some of the spray paint and I'm going to be layering different colors to kind of give it that ombre effect that they had in the picture. I wanted to let you know this is a part of a collab called the Thrift Flip Road Trip put on by the Crafting Cousins. Also joining in on the collab are the channels Desert DIY, Canterbury Cottage, and Nicole North Garden DIY. If you're not already subscribed to them, please check them out in my description box. I will have the playlist listed there along with a Crafting Cousins channel link, so be sure to check them out. And I'm spray painting the outside of the glass jars because I'm going to be putting candles in there and I don't want the spray paint on the inside. Obviously, it's flammable. <laughs> so I am layering on this gold color on the top. And then in the picture, it showed them a little bit frosted or um, kind of like glazed. So I'm going to add a layer of that. And this is what mine looked like. I think they're really pretty. I should have gone with a shorter glass, but... You know, these are dupes, they're not exact. <laughs> so I also found this catch-all tray, this little platter that looked similar to the one in the inspiration picture. So first I thought I would do a marble, a faux marble look that I have done on a desk before. I will link that video if you wanna see how I did that, but it did not turn out, I was not happy with it. <laughs> so I went ahead and wiped everything off gotta love when that happens but at least it came off so I just went ahead and wiped everything clean I hadn't um, spray painted it with like a sealer or anything yet so that was good so I am doing a different faux marble method and taking a bucket of water and the spray paint colors of my choice it's whatever color you want the marbling to be I'm using black white gold and copper This is my first time marbling with spray paint like this, so it didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. It seemed like the paint kind of got gummed up, um, but it still gave it a, a kind of cool marbling effect. But see, like the black stuck to the little stir stick. So I just went ahead and added a little bit more to the water. And then I just dunked my piece in. And I thought that actually looked really cool, but it didn't have all the gold that I wanted like the um, inspiration picture had. So I added a little bit more gold, stirred it around, and then <laughs> dunked my piece again. And I was trying to pick up the gold that was in the water. And I'm getting the paint all over my hand. You probably want to wear gloves if you're going to try this. So this is what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's kind of cool looking. And then when you're done, just spray paint it with a sealer. And then I'm also taking a thrifted book that I got quite a while ago and covering it with this brown paper. And I'm using um, some double-sided sticky tape because I didn't want it to be a... Um, I didn't want it to be permanent, so I didn't want to use any type of glue because, you know, I'm always changing my mind. So if I wanted to recover the book to make it look different, I wanted to be able to take this off. And in the inspiration picture, I'll show it again here at the end. Um, the book was a little bit more, the cover of it was like a little bit more rustic than mine. Like I said, that's what's kind of cool about, um, you know, doing thrifted flips 
and inspiration pieces because you can kind of change it how you want it to look and how it will best fit your decor. You're just taking the general idea from your inspiration picture. So I'm just adding the tape to the paper and kind of taking a little bit of the stickiness off with my fingers before I attach it to the book. And I have a few videos on how I cover books. It's very simple, I'm sure you all know, but I can link those in my description box if you wanna check them out. And then I'm just drawing the lines and writing the title like it is in the photo from Pottery Barn. And I love doing it this way. You just kind of go on, you know, your favorite store's website. And if you see pieces um, that you really like, but can't really afford or don't want to spend that much, take it with you to the thrift store and just, you know, as you're looking through the stuff, find pieces that look similar and just kind of picture them with the colors that you want or textures or whatever. And it's amazing what you can do with thrifted pieces. And then you're not spending all that money. This is what mine looks like. Not as rustic as the picture, but I think it still looks really cool. I'll probably do another one if I can find a big book like this. And then here I'm just styling it like the photo. I'm actually super happy with how it turned out. Like I said, I should have got this one a little bit shorter but they didn't really have any that were like stubby glass pieces. So I'll just keep my eye out for that. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video where you take an inspiration photo and try and recreate it from pieces that you find from the thrift store. So here is mine. And here is the Pottery Barn photo. Obviously it looks a lot better, but that was what I came up with. For this next one, it is going to be a table runner. I got this piece of fabric from um, Goodwill. It was only $2.99, but I love the color and the texture of it. So I'm just rough cutting it right now to the size that I wanted. And then of course you want to iron it wash it if it's washable and then for this one i needed some paint i got acrylic paint and fabric paint just to see which one i liked better you're also going to need some tape i will show you my inspiration here in a second i'm just adding the tape where i don't want the white paint um, because it's um it's a runner with like stripes at the bottom that I found at Pottery Barn. There it is. So this is the acrylic paint. I wasn't happy with how it was coating. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I should have added some water or something. Um, so then you can tell by the, a little bit of the color change, I switched to the fabric paint, which coated a lot better. And you want to, when you're done, follow the directions on your fabric paint, you know, like heat setting it and washing it and stuff like that. And also do your hems however works best for you, whether you like to sew or use hot glue or adhesive tape, whatever works best. And this is my favorite part. <laughs> I love removing the tape. Crossing my fingers that there wasn't any bleed through, but it seemed like it did really well, keeping the paint from going under the tape. And here's how mine turned out. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's really pretty. For this last one, I am doing palm leaves, and I saw this also on the Pottery Barn website. I'm taking some more of that brown craft paper, and you just want to cut like a D shape. I'll show you how to do it with a triangle shape as well. But just cut a rough D shape, and I folded mine in half just to make sure it was somewhat even on both sides.
And then you want to start folding it like accordion style, kind of like we used to do in elementary. <laughs> And this is the inspiration piece. I'm going to be doing the leaf a little bit different and the frame I have is a lot smaller, but whatever you can find at your thrift store will work perfect and will fit in your space. <laughs> but I want to just take a second and thank Crafting Cousins for inviting me to join in on this challenge. It was really, really fun. I love doing this type of video. And like I said, be sure to check them out in my description box and also the playlist. So after you did the accordion style, you can open it up and pinch it at the bottom to make the leaf. And the higher up on the leaf that you go, obviously the smaller it gets. And then if you want to, to make the leaves a little bit more defined, you can trim off the little corners. And there's different ways you can do it. I'm doing the um, folds that were closest to me on this one. And it kind of gives it like a more, I don't know, like organic look. For the triangle one, I'll show you how to cut it a little bit different. So for the triangle, we're going to do the same thing, the same um, accordion fold, but you're going to start at the bottom and just work your way up. And then just flip it around and you can hot glue or use tape. I just used a glue stick and you just glue the edges together. I would love to do this with a giant frame. I think that would look awesome like above my bed like they had it in the Pottery Barn picture. Maybe if I can find one I will do that. Make sure it's nice and glued down tight and then open it up and I think it looks cool just like this but I ended up um, cutting the leaves here in a second, but I was making a stem. You can use a dowel rod or like a real stick, but I'm just taking more of that craft paper and rolling it super tight and then gluing it and cutting it out because this is going to go in a frame kind of like the inspiration photo. So let me know in the comments if you guys like this kind of video, if you like um, thrift flips or um, like high-end dupes from different stores and let me know what your favorite stores are that you'd like me to maybe create some dupes for or if you have specific items let me know that too maybe leave me um, a link or something or send me a picture so then for the stem you can just hot glue it onto the back you can tape it because if it's in a frame obviously you're not going to see the back but these are my two leaves i think i'm going to end up using the smaller one but to attach it if you don't want to glue it on the back <laughs> you can go ahead and glue it in between the folds with um, the first type of leaf that we did you can't do that with the second because the bottom is folded and then I just trim the leaves a little bit different by trimming just the top um, the top edges and it just gives it a different look. There's so many different ways that you can cut these and fold them. That's why I think they're really cool. But I'm going to use this smaller one. And as you can see on the left side, I um, cut down the center of each little peak. And the further you cut down into the fold, the bigger the leaves are going to look or more, you know, long and pointy. And I didn't do white like the inspiration piece, but that's what's awesome about um, doing dupes. You can just change it up to fit your style a little bit better. And then I didn't have a shadow box like the picture. I just had a regular frame, so I just attached it onto the back. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Don't forget to check out the playlist listed in my description box. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.